In the mystical realm of esoteric teachings, there exists a timeless wisdom that vibrant energy underlies all that we perceive. This reality can transform when we focus our awareness upon it. Luminaries such as the yogis and Buddhist monks of past centuries unraveled this profound truth through their disciplined practices, teaching, and healing techniques. They demonstrated how... Additionally, there's a poignant intersection between quantum mechanics, energy dynamics, and our power of concentration. This is elucidated in the video, showcasing that our attention is not merely an abstract concept. It is a vibrant stream of energy that can shape the world around us. Our lives are akin to canvases, each stroke and hue dictated by the direction of our focus, which acts as a powerful ruder. The prevailing idea is that where we place our gaze, we invite the universe to act in our favor. Rooted in a symphony of quantum and energetic laws, our concentrated attention beckons energies in harmony with our thoughts and desires. This relationship stipulates that focused attention is a transformative force. It transcends mere observation, leading to the manifestation of life's... As the famed Einstein once said, everything is energy. It paves the way for the journey from theories to miracles. Focused attention not only navigates the seas of uncertainty, but also serves as a compass ensuring that we reach our desired shores. Yet within the realm of focus itself, two defining attributes come to the fore. Polar and... In the symphony of these two attributes, our gaze shapes our perception. But how does this translate into the dance of attraction and repulsion, a tango of the cosmos itself? Think of it as a supply of emotions. For love and hate are not merely words, they are feelings that resonate and reverberate. Our emotional energies are known to cling and reverberate. Our emotional energies are known to cling to energy. In the midst of this cosmic dance, for at it is intriguing to note how many find themselves entangled in its web, a consequence of societal conditioning and the incessant battle between stimuli. The allure and temptation of fear echo in the corridors of our deepest instincts. It lulls us into a trance, a state of false comfort where we find solace in familiar negativity. Yet, this is but an illusion that we nurture a mirage of protection that ultimately leaves us more... Flowing from these swirling emotions and relentless cycles, one begins to question the role of attention in our perception dawns. It is quite clear that the strata of both individual and collective attraction and repulsion have a profound link to the energies we direct, which in turn are drawn by the siren song of our attention. Our gaze, guided by attention, holds the power to transform or... Accumulated energy is a reservoir of experience and a potent force shaping our path. When your personal river of experience overflows, it has the potential to create a flood or even stagnation, leading to repetition and restriction. These dams in your energy flow constrict the free movement of your life force, hindering your evolution. It takes profound self-discovery to realize the patterns where you've been watered, relieving the past in the present. Consciously stepping into this realization can enable an energy transformation, where the overflowing dam of yesteryears gives way, replenishing your flow and rejuvenating your essence. The interplay between collective social attention and individual perception runs deep, inextricably linked to the resonance of our being. The societal narrative, often drenched in the seductive hues of fear, Media, both traditional and new age, wields the dual-edged sword of influence. By continuously echoing narratives draped in fear, it fosters a collective fortress driven by apprehension, while on a personal level, rivulets of anxiety and trepidation find their paths and settle. Equipped with this awareness, it becomes imperative for the individual to forge their own narrative, to disentangle their vibration from... This reclamation springs forth as a declaration of independence, celebrating the sovereignty of one's own focus and perception. When the individual wields their attention with a deliberate and unwavering hand, societal illusions and discord are unveiled. 
They stand stark against the canvas of personal reality, where polar and non-polar attention dance in succession, translating into the symphony of attraction. Our realities ripple outward, reverberating with both the personal and the collective. The shell of ego, a powerful player in this cosmic theatre, often becomes the conduit for polarised recollection. It selectively sieves through memory, heavily favouring pivotal past experiences, and, more often than not, churns out the stories of despair and ant trauma. The result? A continuous loop. Yet in this theatre of cause and effect, a salient beacon beckons, the illumination of neutral attention. It is through this equanimity that personal growth and transformation are birthed. The keen edge of judgment crumbles, and the shadows of fear and attachment dissipate when confronted with the light of profound self-awareness. Our energy, once distorted by the echoes of past... As darkness recedes, the silent observer within, the witness of our being, breathes in the elixir of transformation. Relinquishing the burden of repetitive past hurts becomes not just a possibility, but a firm foundation for forging new pathways in personal relationships. The promise of rebirth pulsates in the air, and evolving relationship dynamics fortify. Polar attention, albeit a formidable force, often plays the part of a two-edged sword. On one edge it exalts the pinnacles of love, while on the other it plunges into chasms of fear and acrimony. This tender and torrid interplay colors the tapestry of personal connections, featuring prominently in the intricate dance of attraction and repulsion. As we draw the lens closer, a striking revelation Unified and unwavering, this attention becomes a sanctuary, emboldening us to navigate the capricious currents of interpersonal bonds. Simultaneously acknowledging both unity and duality, it elevates love beyond the quagmire of possessiveness, where it often meanders and unleashes its luminescence. In this space of equanimity and perspective, relationships are root to whose rhythm your attention dances may very well determine the poignant symphony of love and folly. In the grand theater of energies, polar and non-polar, stand as stalwarts. Their presence, like celestial bodies in the cosmic ballet, orchestrates the ebb and flow that imprints its mark on life's canvas. Love, a formidable force coursing through human veins. It finds its embodiment in the realm of polarity, a space where both its essence and its contradiction reside. Jungles of passion and oceans of adoration teem with life and equally with pain. The magnetism of love, when tainted by the brush of possessiveness, becomes an agent of dissonance rather than a harmonious force. To mitigate its adverse effects, a gradual but prof In the residence of non-polarity, love transcends the mundane definitions and finds its truest expression, unencumbered by shadows of negativity. When love radiates through the transparency of non-polar attention, a remarkable metamorphosis occurs. It not only illuminates the path of the individual, but permeates the collective consciousness. Thus, the macrocosm and the microcosm harmonize. The illustrious journey into the dynamics of the mind often leads to a captivating discovery, the art of direct non-polar observation. Such surveillances captivate the essence of events with an unblemished mirror, devoid of the taint of beliefs and conditioned thought. It garners insights through a medium unshackled from the web of past experiences. This transcendental engagement with life births an unparalleled level, for it dismantles the age-old citadels of ignorance and inadequacies, replacing them with a realization that maturity is an ongoing conversation with varied dimensions. With heartfelt integrity and prudent discernment, actively etching the contours of one's beliefs and values, a rightful place is secured in the vast mosaic of interconnected life. In life, there arises a recurrent theme, the cyclical patterns that entwine our existence, both individually and collectively. 
These repetitions, often as deceptive as they are potent, speak volumes about the stagnant nature of energies when left unattended. They form the invisible shackles that bind us to an unyielding past, rendering our journey through the sands of time. This predictability, while offering stability in its embrace, simultaneously robs us of the fluidity and evolution that are the hallmarks of growth. Our attention, akin to a master sculptor, is the hand that shapes these recurring patterns. Amidst the polishing of our present, it wields the power to carve out a new story, one freer from the constraints of repetitive history. Breaking these patterns beckons renewal, re guided by the compass of focused attention and drawing inspiration from the depths of our conscious and subconscious reservoirs, the art of drawing out life's hidden treasures through a profound state of mind becomes a practice that elevates the individual in the art of life itself. When you drink from the well of equanimity, the bitter becomes sweet and the harsh glows with hidden silver linings. As life unfolds its intricate tapestry, these approach to... In every challenge lies an opportunity for growth, a pearl nestled within layers of transformative healing. Your epiphany becomes more than a solitary insight. It unfurls, revealing the intricate connections that bind past, present, and future, bringing layers of understanding into each engagement. Understanding the spirit wisdom of existence beckons a life where the pursuit of joy becomes synonymous. However, it is the skill with attention, polar and non-polar, that steers the vessel in this journey. The art of navigating the intricate dance of attraction and repulsion finds a nurturing ground in the noble hands of conscious attention. It is in mastering this art that one unwraps life's greatest treasures, and Bacchus helps reach a higher state of mind. Energy in its essence is boundless and eternal, harnessing this approach into practice, deepening the inner focus, withdrawing attention from the outer world, and redirecting it onto the mind. Harnessing their patterns through observation without judgment can thus be beneficial. Our allyizing one as conscious choices of thought and attitude can be offered as the catalyst of this transformative power. Pain derived from negative behaviors is an essential tool in guiding our decisions and redirecting focus from vices to blessings. Oz control is a term coined to signify the process of consciously shaping one's experience. Fostering love and becoming love One's energies are harmoniously altered through conscious adjustment. This leads to the fruition of desire. Vices and distractions pave the way for a transformative journey into proactive virtues. They signify how balancing forces must be overridden by love, leading to the end of your longing nature. Oz control underscores that the profound inner journey to self-realization and harmony with the universe is attainable via conscious decisions, redirecting focus, cultivating love,